Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to cook a beef cross rib roast. And I'm going to do this in my toaster oven, but you can do this in the big oven, or even indirectly on your grill as well. So, uh, let's get cooking. I found this beef cross rib roast on sale for $2.99 a pound, so this three pound roast cost me nine bucks. So I snapped it up. Usually these sell for about six or seven dollars a pound around here. Now, I like these better than say a rump roast or a sirloin roast or a round roast because they have a little more fat in them. So a little more fat, a little more flavor, and I like the texture better. So um, for the money, these are my favorite roasts when I can find them. I have this glass baking dish that I've never used before. It's a $25 dish and I got it on sale for $5. So I think this roast should fit right in there. So I'm gonna try uh, cooking it in that. Looks pretty good. It's a nice looking roast right there. I'm just gonna um, season it, the outside of it with some kosher salt and some pepper. I'm just gonna do both sides of it. So uh, let me flip it over and do the other side and then we'll get it into the toaster oven. The best way to tell when a roast is done is just to use an oven the meat, meat thermometer like this. So I'm just gonna stick this kinda right into the center of the roast, the thickest part. And the cool thing is I can see that right through the glass of the toaster oven. So I don't even have to open the oven door to check it. Also, I cut these russet potatoes into quarters. I'm going to pour a little olive oil on them and season them with some seasoning salt here. I'm going to mix that up. And I have some room around the, the sides of the roast there, so um, I'm going to put these potatoes around the edge of the dish and we'll see how that works out. I set my oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I pulled the oven rack out and put the tray in there. That drops the roast down a little bit lower so it clears the top heating element better there. And um, I'm going to cook this until the internal temperature of the meat is about 120 to 125 degrees, which is rare. If you like it well done, cook it to about 160. So we'll be back in a while when it's done. This has been cooking for about an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, about 70 minutes. And the internal temperature is just about hitting 120 right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and a lot of times, I'm going to let this sit and rest, a lot of times that internal temperature will climb another 10 or 15 degrees once you pull it out of the oven. The temperature of my roast is over 130 degrees now, so it's climbed a good 15 degrees since I pulled it out of the oven. Now, there's a pretty good amount of drippings in this pan, and I think this would make some nice gravy so what I'm gonna do is take the potatoes out of there and I'm gonna make some gravy in the cast iron skillet I'm kind of afraid to put that glass pan on the stove and try making it in that because I think it might crack so I'm gonna transfer it to the cast iron skillet I'm kind of excited about this I haven't made a good beef roast gravy in a long time set my burner to kind of pretty low heat there put two tablespoons of butter in my cast iron skillet there also, this is two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So we'll let the flour cook for a minute or two to kind of get the floury doughiness out of it. Might as well go ahead and get all these beef drippings in there as well. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's going to be the flavor right there. I haven't had a good beef roast gravy in a long time. My flour's browned for a minute or two there. It looks good. Now I'm gonna start adding in some liquid. I'm just adding water. And I'll keep stirring. And just kind of keep adding water. I'm tasting it. I'll taste it and see if it needs anything else. But just keep stirring it until all these lumps start to cook out. 
gravy looks good. I just kept stirring it and adding water. It's about the consistency that I want here. So let me taste it and see if it needs anything. Perfect. I just have to get this netting off the outside of the roast. And then I can slice it up and put it on a plate. So I'm filming, so you're <laughs> you're gonna be in it. <laughs> okay, let's see. My potatoes and gravy turned out really good. Let me slice off a piece of this roast, and we'll see how it is. Man, that is good. Nice and tender and juicy. I love these cross rib roasts. If you haven't tried them, give them a try sometime. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs>